how to edit genetics without changing DNA. Scientific brilliance coming out of the MIT Harvard Broad Institute may one day better the lives of millions. DNA directs protein on how to build cells via RNA. A new study, published in the journal Science, details how DNA instructions can be chemically altered via edits to information in the RNA. The DNA remains unchanged, while proteins build cells based on the edited instructions. The method is not ready for human trials, but could one day help those suffering from degenerative diseases. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. This smart bandage will help you heal like Wolverine. Mad medical tech coming out of the U.S. this month could put a wrap on bandages as we know them. Researchers have designed a smart bandage they say heals skin tissue three times faster than a regular medical dressing. It accomplishes this via medication loaded inside the bandage threads. Drug delivery can then be controlled via smartphone. The researchers say in the future this could accelerate healing of battlefield wounds. Sadly, it's still got to go through more testing before it makes it to market, and that could take years. Gray hair and baldness may soon be a thing of the past. Scientists researching tumors may have accidentally found the cure for gray hair and baldness. Two proteins, KROX20 and stem cell factor, are responsible for hair loss and pigmentation in hair, respectively. Hair shafts turn white when stem cell factor is depleted from hair cells. Meanwhile, hair loss is observed when KROX20 is removed from hair cells. Researchers will continue to study whether the two proteins stop working as people get older, which also could help explain why people age in general. Fetal pacemaker ready for human trials. Researchers at the University of Southern California first developed a micro pacemaker for fetuses five years ago, and the device is now ready for its first human trial. The fetal pacemaker is a slim cylinder with components that include a single transistor relaxation oscillator, an epoxy capsule, and a small lithium battery. The pacemaker is implanted into a fetus through a 3.8 millimeter diameter insertion cannula. The battery is able to power the device for about a week. When the power runs low, a high-powered field generator can be used to generate a radio frequency magnetic field outside the body. This wirelessly recharges the battery through inductive coupling. The device, which has been successfully tested in sheep fetuses in the past, was granted humanitarian use in 2015 by the FDA. Limitless blood supply is not too far off. It's taken nearly two decades, but scientists may finally have the recipe to create stem cells, that wellspring of life and holy grail of regenerative medicine. A Boston research team programmed human pluripotent stem cells to become endothelial cells, which typically line the inside of blood vessels. These were injected with special proteins called transcription factors, then transplanted into mice. Weeks later, the cells had multiplied, and in some cases formed a wide range of human blood cells in the mice's bodies. A second research team used blood cells from mice and injected them with a mix of transcription factors. The cells morphed into stem cells after incubating in petri dishes designed to mimic a human blood vessel environment. When injected into weak mice that had been treated with radiation, the stem cells regenerated both blood and immune cells. The mice recovered and went on to live full lifespans. The groundbreaking research from both teams provides hope for patients who suffer from blood cancers and other diseases. But tests need to be carried out to determine any negative effects before the procedure can go to human trials. Breakthrough Nanochip heals injuries with just one touch. Researchers at Ohio State University have developed a new technology that allows the body to generate any type of cell to help heal injuries. Tissue nanotransfection involves placing a fingernail-sized nanochip on a patient's skin, adding a droplet of genetic material, and zapping it with an electrical current. The DNA is delivered through channels created by the current, and it reprograms skin cells to turn into specific cell types that can then be used in other parts of the body. 
When tested on a mouse with a damaged leg, researchers found vascular cells converted from skin cells, formed new blood vessels that allowed the leg to heal in two weeks. The non-invasive technology was also able to generate nerve cells in the legs of brain-damaged mice. Once the cells were harvested, they were injected into the brain to help with stroke recovery. The nanochip also tested effectively in pigs and is expected to be approved for human trials within a year.